What is a curiosity post? How does it work and how do you use it to get new network marketing team members and product users? Curiosity posts are designed to identify people that are the right fit for your MLM company. Curiosity posts are used to capture viewers' attention and get them to stop scrolling on social media and pay attention to what you are saying. The goal of a curiosity post is to pre-qualify your leads and prospects on Instagram and Facebook by making them raise their hand as being interested in what you're offering. What would your business look like if you had people messaging you wanting to know what you're doing and asking to join your MLM team? Make sure that you stay all of the way to the end because although curiosity posts are the best way to build your MLM team, they can hurt your business if you're using them incorrectly. Before we dive in, I want to introduce myself in case you're new to this channel. My name is Sarah Peterson. I lead a team of network marketers and during the course of leading my team, I found about 99 ways that don't work and a handful of things that work really well for building an MLM team. On this channel, I share my network marketing journey with you by sharing what is working really great and what isn't working so well so that you can shortcut your learning curve and build the network marketing team you desire. So if you want to follow along on my journey, make sure that you subscribe and hit that like button for this video. You might be asking yourself, what exactly is a curiosity post on social media? When I said that phrase to my brother the other night, his eyes got as wide as saucers and he asked if that was clickbait. It is similar to clickbait where you want your viewers to be curious and want to know more. However, unlike clickbait, there isn't a bait and switch. Clickbait typically refers to a type of title. These clickbait titles have a bad reputation because they usually make an outrageous claim in order to get your attention so that you'll pay attention to the post, but then they're unable to deliver on that promise. So they'll say one thing, but what they give you in the post is something totally different. Curiosity posts are similar to clickbait because they're used to create curiosity around your products and curiosity around your MLM business. However, they're usually not just a title and curiosity posts are used to create an open story loop for the viewers and there's no bait and switch involved. So whatever you say is what the person's going to get. The goal of a curiosity post on social media is to capture your viewers attention. So they have to reach out to you for more information. This puts the business in your control. With a curiosity post, you are never going to use your company name or mention your product name. And you're definitely never, ever, ever going to post a link to your company. What you want to do with the curiosity post is create enough interest and enough curiosity so that somebody actually reaches out to you to ask what you're doing and to get more information. Now, the reason you'd want to do that is that it keeps you in control of your business. They have to come to you. Not only do you now know who to follow up with and who's interested, but you also make sure that they're not getting the wrong information. The human brain is designed in such a way that it doesn't like open loops or cliffhangers. The human brain wants to know the rest of the story and it drives you nuts when you don't get to hear it. Do you like reading books? What type of books do you enjoy reading? Do you have a favorite series? I love to read all kinds of books from personal development books to fantasy, to mysteries, to romance, you name it. I've probably read it. I especially love books that are in a series because I like being able to follow my favorite characters journeys. Now that being said, however, that my favorite way to read the books in a series is after the whole series has been published and it's complete. When I finish a book, I hate having to wait for the sequel to come out. I want to know the rest of the story right now. Lots of times authors will actually leave their book on a cliffhanger so that you're dying to get the next book and it creates that excitement and pre-sales of the next book launch. And good authors tend to leave their chapters as cliffhangers as well so that you have to keep reading. Have you ever binge read an entire book in one day or one night? I have. The same is also true of movies and television series. I have binge watched entire TV series in a matter of days because I couldn't stand not knowing what was going to happen in the next episode. That's also why movie trailers come out months before the release of the movie, because it builds anticipation and suspense and cliffhanger moments that make you want to see the movie. 
And that's why you go to the theater on that first date is you've got to know the rest of the story. A good curiosity post on Facebook and Instagram is written exactly the same way. And they're used to bring leads and prospects coming to you. As a result of the way that our brains are programmed, it's actually really tricky to write a good curiosity post because as you're writing it, your brain wants to fill in all the blanks and close all of those open loops by giving away all of the information. However, resist that temptation and leave people guessing and free to have their own epiphanies and reach their own conclusions. For example, I did a post on Facebook a while ago talking about how I was tired of living paycheck to paycheck and feeling like we were just one surprise expense away from disaster. Without telling anybody to join my team and without providing a call to action, I ended it by saying that I never dreamed that I would now be teaching people how to use social media to create a life that they loved. I didn't tell them what I was doing or how I was doing it. All I did was identify a pain point in my life that they could relate to and share how my life looks different now. That left the viewer of the post to ask questions like, what are you doing? How are you doing it? Can you teach me how to do it too? The post did exactly what it was intended to do and it qualified the people that were ready right then to learn about my MLM opportunity. Immediately after I posted it, I got a message from a friend telling me that he was looking to make a change and he wanted to know what I was doing. This led to a call to see if my network marketing team was the right fit for him. If I had given him the information about the products and my MLM company, he wouldn't have had any reason to reach out to me. He would have just done his own research and decided if it was for him or not based on the information that he found just in that post. The information that he found when he Googled it and did his research might not have even been correct. And the worst part is that I wouldn't have known that he was interested and then I wouldn't have followed up with him because I just wouldn't have known. Not all of your curiosity posts are gonna have an immediate reaction with people reaching out to you wanting to know more, and that's okay. You're planting seeds and you're planting ideas. People are getting to know you. When people see your curiosity posts on social media, they are trying to decide if they want to do business with you. Keep in mind that there are only two questions that people ask themselves. What's in it for me? And can I do it? Each time you post a curiosity post, it is a follow-up and a way of answering those two questions for your viewer. When you post curiosity posts, people are inserting themselves into your story. When I posted about how I was tired of living paycheck to paycheck, I was tired of telling my kids no. They weren't seeing me and my kids. They were actually seeing themselves. They were picturing themselves looking at their bank accounts, knowing that they were one ex unexpected expense away from disaster. When I was telling my kids that we couldn't afford to do the activities we wanted to do, they weren't seeing me talk to my kids. They were reliving what it feels like to disappoint their kids because their budget doesn't allow them to live the life they want to live. As you tell stories and share your why while hinting about the solution that you found, prospects will reach out to you, even if you aren't where you wanna be yet in your MLM journey. As you do these curiosity posts and you talk about how you're doing something different, people will naturally want to know if your solution can work for them too, and they're gonna ask themselves if their life could look different. As they're watching your post at some point, they will raise their hand and identify themselves as a lead. That's when you get on a phone call with them and see if it's the right fit. You can create curiosity posts by sharing a story, or it can be as simple as a block post, like, I never thought I'd be able to lose that last 10 pounds of belly fat, or best day ever, my little sister just asked me what the heck I was doing because I look so young. You can post about how you're paying down debt, planning a dream vacation, or spending more time as a family. You can also create curiosity by congratulating a team member or posting pictures of yourself being recognized on stage, speaking at an event, or leading your team on a Zoom call. Not only will the curiosity posts create curiosity and draw attention to what you're doing, but they'll also allow people to see your personality and get to know you. Word of caution with curiosity posts though. People come on Facebook and Instagram to be entertained and to escape from their reality. Make sure that you entertain them instead of just bombarding them with curiosity posts. A good rule of thumb is that 80 to 20 rule. 
About 80% of your posts should be entertaining and engaging posts. Share your lifestyle, ask questions, share memes, and only about 20% of your posts should be business posts. As you share curiosity posts, they're going to naturally fit into the other posts that you're sharing. Consequently, instead of feeling salesy or driving people away, people are going to naturally be attracted to you because you're not selling them anything. You're just telling them your story and they're imagining how their life could look different. Thanks for watching today. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe. Also, make sure that you click on the link below to go get my social media igniter because it's going to light your network marketing business on fire. Thanks for watching. See you next time.